What is up YouTube? This is LBS here bringing you yet another Airsoft Loadout video for 2015. Uh, this one's going to be my uh, newest one. And uh, for those of you that watched the other one, you can tell there are some similarities between this. Um, yes, this is going to be another cold weather Airsoft Loadout video because it is freezing right now in Texas. It's about 40 degrees right now outside and South Texans are not used to cold weather. So, without further ado, uh, let's get going. We're going to put the gun off to a side because we already know it's the uh, GNG Combat Machine uh, Evite.com Custom. The only thing different is the rail covers and the um, this new GNG uh, vertical grip that I got. Plus, I modified the, uh, the orange tip a little because I didn't want to take it off. So, let's get going on the loadout itself. Again, you will notice some similarities and some differences. So, let's get going. So, we'll go from top to bottom, starting with the top. It's the same Condor, uh, not Condor, uh, Rothko um, Polar Fleece uh, watch cap. And uh, it looks gray, but it's actually um, foliage. Now these are brand new. These are Vulcan Sierra Tactical Goggles. I have yet to fog these up because I just got them yesterday, but I thought they looked pretty well with the loadout. For face protection, I use, an, I use the, uh, this one is by Matrix actually. Uh, face wrap or a multi-wrap, whatever you want to call it. The jacket itself is a Condor, excuse me, the jacket itself, it's a, uh, the Condor uh, Summit Tactical Soft Shell Jacket in foliage. I finally was able to figure out the, uh, the, the chest rig. This is a Pantac RRV. Um, it's just, just the front portion with molly webbing and nothing on the back. It's a cross draw because I lost the, uh, the H harness uh, Velcro. I do carry the same uh, M4 mags. It has an admin pouch and the, uh, the mag pouch, of course, and a radio pouch if I had one, but I don't right now. I'm working on that later. Uh, the admin pouch can just carry, uh, I can get it. Just a regular uh, old pocket pocket knife. See? It's got the uh, seatbelt cutter and window breaker. Even has an LED on here, but I don't really mess with that because I don't need to. <clears throat> The belt, I just use a regular belt. I'm working on getting a, a battle belt or a BDU belt. The gloves are Matrix uh, hard knuckle gloves from Evike. The pants, just the, the same. The, uh, these were the multicam or BDU? I, I can't remember. These are regular BDU uh, woodland pants. These right here are also Rothko uh, knee pads. And the boots, I didn't really get to show the boots that well. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But uh, I believe those are uh, Brazo boots. I got these at Academy for like 40 bucks. So let's do a whole 360 view of the loadout. I plan to get you know some upgrades for the for the combat machine, such as an inner barrel and a better motor. But like I said, I'm not really that trigger happy. So there you go, guys. That's uh, the new 2015 loadout video in uh, cold cold weather or extreme weather airsoft loadout video. I hope you all like it, and I'm going to do another one uh, later on. It's going to be something similar to this, but it's not going to be a cold weather. It's just going to be a you know, regular um, airsoft loadout in OD. So be sure to look forward to that one. This is LBS, out.